got a hunger for some entertainment, we've got your back. We all know who the very hungry caterpillar is and now we get to meet him. A Salento celeb takes us into their world while chilling in outpatients and Kaya and Jess bring us a sneak peek of the next big Disney movie, Moana. Hey Juices, I'm Jack, I'm your host today, and this is my stomach. Patience, my pet. He's a bit hungry today, I tell you that. Well, we have heaps of delicious treats for your eyeballs and your stomach today here on Juice. Well, I've already told you my name, introduce you to my stomach. I think we're on a bit of a roll here. 14-year-old Jack loves ACDC and smashing the hosting duties on Juiced. But watch your back, because apparently he is the ultimate prankster. Favourite sports, I reckon, oh, I've played so many of them, but uh, some of my favourites are uh, rugby union, uh, cycling, just uh, those two, probably my favourite. Uh, I love rugby union because you get to smash people and it's a great team sport, and I love cycling because you get to go fast and it's dangerous and uh, a lot of adrenaline comes with it. It's also the hardest sport of my life, but yeah, I love it. And uh, as I, <laughs> I'm in hospital now, but I'm sure it'll get back on the bike. Uh, my most embarrassing moment, uh, God, there's been a lot of them, but uh, I reckon one of the most funniest or worst ones is when I broke my hand in a library. Yes, yeah, I was just reading and I broke it. No, um, <laughs> no, I was in a library with a couple of my mates and we were waiting to do this activity. It was on school holidays and we we're hoops board and stuff. And um, yeah, it was uh, some ramps and a kid's toy, like a little car. No, yeah, no, it's a great idea to put me in it and then push me over, got some good air and then put my hand out and, yeah. Now yeah, it was good times, but yeah, it was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> uh, one of my proudest moments, I think, would be when I got to do uh, an Anzac speech in front of everyone at my local RSL um, on the 100th anniversary of the Gallipoli landings. Yeah, I just found that really cool that I got to share my opinion on what the Anzac spirit means to me with uh, well, quite a lot of people. People who can come to my party, pretty much anyone who's happy, funny, wants a good time, more the merrier. But uh, yeah, probs, Will Ferrell or someone, you know, just funny people. All right, in the important one, best dance move. Ah, uh, got a couple, but you know, I reckon the old sprinkles probs is one of the best right now. If I could take three things to a planet, I would take my friends, my family, and Noosa. She's getting a bit impatient, isn't she? Oh, God. She's hungry. She's angry. In fact, she's hungry. Let's bring on our first tasty treat. Let's go see what a little caterpillar gets up to when he gets really hungry. Hi, I'm Mila. And I'm Andy Ray. Hi. I'm feeling hungry. Me too. Do I feel like two pears? Nah. Do I feel like three plums? Nope. You know what? I'm hungry for some entertainment. Me too. Hungry for some entertainment. Well, you've come to the right place because we are two of the cast members from the Very Hungry Caterpillar Show. Can you tell us what the show's about? Yeah. So the Very Hungry Caterpillar Show is a, it's a puppet show. It's based on the book The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which was written by Eric Carle 46 years ago. It's a part of everyone's family, and essentially the story is about a caterpillar who pops forth from an egg and he's hungry. He goes in search of food, he eats a whole bunch of fruit, he eats a whole bunch of party food, he gets really fat, and then he turns into a beautiful butterfly. So how do you become a puppeteer? Uh, to become a puppeteer, I think, you just need to play. Play with things. Pick up anything. You can pick up uh, your knife and fork and turn them into something. They can have a little conversation. Or play with your food. Your food can talk to each other. Your potato and your steak can just like have a little chat. Anything. Do you have a favourite puppet? 
Uh, I think for me it's the cow, the yellow cow, because he's kind of friendly and yeah, I think he's fun. What about you? My favourite is the fat caterpillar. <laughs> what about you? Um, my favourite is the seahorse. The rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> catching the caterpillar. Some other kids from the hospital are joining us and they have some questions too. How long have you been doing like the puppet shows and everything? So we're actually coming up to our 200th. So Danny, Drew and I will have done 200 shows all together of the caterpillar. What made you want to be a puppet? The thing I love about puppetry and why I do it is because I think that it is magic. Like, we aren't lying. There's no tricks, there's no flashy lights, there's no illusions. We've got a puppet, and it either works or it doesn't, but when it works, that's what you've got, and people believe in that. And I think that, to me, is where the, the magic is, because you believe. Time for hard-hitting questions. How many puppets are there in the show? There are 75 puppets in the show. How many colours does the butterfly have? How many colours does the butterfly have? Um, I don't know! There's blue, there's yellow, there's green. Is there green? Purple? Mm -hmm. I Red. don't know! Red? There are so many colours on the butterfly, I can't remember. Did you say yellow? I think I said yellow. The author that um, wrote the, the Very Hungry Caterpillar, is he still alive? He is. He is uh, quite an elderly gentleman and he lives in America and he spends most of his day making artwork similar to what is in the, in the book. He just spends all his day writing children's book. So not having lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Of seeing the show? I think I would like for them to feel the magic of the story and to maybe just, yeah, feel light. Thank you for joining us today and sharing your show. My pleasure. Yeah, our pleasure, thank you. <sighs> I don't know about you, but I'm full. Me too. Until we see you next time. Bye. Bye. Wow, that made me very happy but also very hungry. The butterfly was her favourite part. Well, if you're hungry for more, we're serving up an all-you-can-eat fun time buffet. This hospital is full of awesome people with their awesome talents that they share with us. Let's take a trip to outpatients to see who's about. Hey, it's Chloe, sitting here at the hospital waiting for my appointment with the do eye doctor. <laughs> There's a couple of things that I'm really into. Let's start with swimming. One of the reasons I love swimming is because it's something that's really good for you, but it's also easy and really fun. It is pretty hard having to get up in the mornings early and just swimming, it's hard. <laughs> um, but it's really worth it and it's really a lot of fun. My favourite stroke would probably be freestyle because you can go easy or as hard as you want and it's just lots of fun. <laughs> freestyle is a stroke that kind of goes a little... <laughs> I also love dancing. I do five types of dance. Cheerleading, contemporary slash lyrical, hip hop, jazz and elite, which is modern jazz. My favourite dance would probably be my elite dance because it's challenging but it's also really fun and interesting. My favourite music to dance to is pop music because it's just fun and bouncy and stuff. My favourite artist would have to be Taylor Swift because she's just a role, a role model to me. She's really kind and she's a great singer. If I had any advice to give to you about swimming, dancing or any sport like that, it'd be to train as hard as you can because you'll always get good results. I'm Chloe. Thanks for staying with me today. Bye. <laughs> We want
want you to be a part of Juice TV. We're always on the lookout for hosts, interviewers, behind the scenes helpers and mini producers. You can be any age, you don't have to have any experience. How much easier could it be? To find out the next time we're filming at the hospital, just head to our website, juicedtv.com.au or our Facebook page. For loads of fun to break up your stay in hospital, join the Juice crew. Send us an email at hello at juicetv.com.au or speak to any of the volunteers wearing green shirts throughout the hospital and let them know you want to be involved in the one and only Juice TV. Art can be inspiring, uplifting and emotional. And the Lady Salento Children's Hospital has no shortage of incredible work hanging in its halls. Hello, I'm Jan Cad. I'm here with Juice TV and I'm happy to do some art today. Jan Damara is an artist who uses a variety of styles to create his amazing artworks. And he's here today to share some of his stories and mad skills with us. What's your inspiration? My inspiration comes from people. I love the diversity of people. I love seeing people of different backgrounds, different people that talk different, people that look different, people that behave different. That inspires me. I, I don't do landscapes, I don't really paint still life or other things, I paint people. And I love trying to capture that special essence that is someone. Like for you, your special essence, something that's so unique to you and beautiful. I like to try and capture that in a painting if I share it. So what's so you good about your paint? Painting for me comes ever so natural, so it makes me feel really alive when I get to paint and share. Why do you like paint? Um, I like painting because for me it's an expression that I feel connects me on a deeper level to myself. It makes me feel so happy, but also in my painting I make other people feel happy. So what do you got here? Uh, these two here, this one's called Held and this one's called Responsibility. And this is a grandmother holding her granddaughter. And you can see this little grandbaby here, beautiful little baby, held so nurturing, nurturingly and strongly and safely in the arms of her grandmother. And this one over here is responsibility. This is a, a brother with his baby brother on his back. And uh, in Aboriginal culture, often they would walk for hundreds of kilometres at a time to move around. And the, the brothers would carry the younger children and the sisters would carry the younger girls. So there's some beautiful images that share that, that really bring joy to my heart. How do you do that good painting? Well, I think it's practice and practice and practice, but also I think it's partly listening. There's a whole language within creativity, and for me, painting speaks to me. It says, put a mark here, put a mark there, don't put one there, don't put that. And I think the more I learn to listen over time, the more I learn to listen to myself, not what other people think or not what other people say, the more that uh, things start to come about in a greater way. Can you paint me something right now? Absolutely, I'd be honoured. I would love to. All right, so first I'll paint your hand. How's that feel? Does that feel nice? For all of us, for millions of years before writing was invented, we used to use our handprints on rock caves and walls as part of our expression. And you put it wherever you want. And I'll just push your fingers a little bit. Ah, all right. And then lift it up. Ah, oh, perfect. So I like to incorporate the elements, the water, the green, and that's like the rocks and the earth. And those bits come together. I've got a kangaroo in there, I've got the baby, I've got your handprint, my handprint. When I paint, sometimes it takes like four days and I'll paint 11 hours 
every day, so it takes a long time sometimes. That's wonderful. Oh, I'm so honoured. Thank you so very much. Thank you for your time. Have you got a craving to be on Juice TV? All you have to do is let the team know and you'll be off on your own Juice adventure, like interviewing celebs, discovering new things, and you get to meet new people. Hey. Hey. How you going? Yeah. Yeah, right. See you later. Yeah, had to have it. For me, Juice has been a great time for me to laugh and get happy. Uh, and it also shows that anyone can do it. For example, me, because, uh, yeah, the challenge like that. But yeah, it's great fun and you should definitely do it. Hi, my name's Kaya. And I'm Jess. We're at a special screening of Moana. It's at event cinemas. Not only we're we bringing you our review, but just like the movie, we are celebrating the Polynesian culture that inspired it. We reap the wind and the sky when the sun is high. We sail the length of the seas on the ocean breeze. At night we name every star. Moana in cinemas this Boxing Day is an incredible adventure about a teenager who sets sail on a daring mission to prove herself a master wayfinder, just like her ancestors from 3,000 years ago. A brand new island everywhere we roam. Along the way, she encounters the once mighty demigod Maui, voiced by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. What, Maui? A boat! A boat! <laughs> Together, this duo takes to the ocean for an action packed voyage, taking on fiery creatures and impossible odds. The action, adventure, lols and awesome songs we can expect. Uh, really? Blow dart in my butt cheek. What you might not expect out of Disney movie is Adam Blair from the Brisbane Broncos. Adam, are you a big fan of Disney movies? I actually am, Jess. Um... I'm very lucky, obviously, I've got a little a son that really loves going to all the Disney movies, so we're very lucky to be here today to watch Moana. What are you most excited about about watching Moana? Um, I'm a big fan of The Rock, so I know that The Rock is a, a big part of the movie. Sheik Tipter, demigod of the wind and sea, I am Hero a... of men. Wh what? It's actually Maui, shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea, hero of men. I interrupted from the top, Hero of Men. Go. But I'm just excited for all the, the characters and all the fun things that happen in the movie. The movie was inspired by Polynesian culture. How important is that to you? Um, it's really important, I guess. Um, Polynesian culture is a big part of my life um, and I really uh, respect everything that goes with it. Um, my culture is the most important thing to me. What are some of the defining aspects? I think... Um, I think with, I guess with the island, with the Polynesian stuff, a lot of the, the dances are defining um, difference with everyone else. I think our culture is big on the traditional tattoos and I think in the movie in Moana you'll see a lot of the, the one of the main characters, which is the rock, that um, has a lot of the tattoos on him. With his magical fish hook, he slowed down the sun, pulled islands out of the sea, battled monsters. And I should know, because <laughs> I'm Maui. Hey. Let me do this, please. I think that defines us a lot with our culture, is our tattoos and our dance. Thank you for talking to me today. It's my pleasure, Jess. Thank you for having me. We discovered dance is a part of the culture. What is it used? So dance, um, we love to dance because we love to have fun have parties and most of all to celebrate. What do you love about dance? 
The thing I love about dancing is that we're able to make people happy and smile. So when we dance, others can have fun because we're having fun. That's why I love to dance. I love to dance because I love to share my culture with other people and I love to dance and tell stories through my dancing. Can you teach me some of the additional dance moves? Yes, we'd love to teach you some dance moves. Okay, so you face me, right? And put your hands on your hips. And you bend your knees just a little bit. Now just loosen up your hips just a little bit. Give them a little sway. That's it. Perfect. Two to the right. And then we add our arms to the right. And to the left. Nice. Make some waves. Down, up, down. And big sunshine. Push it down. Oh. We're going to the realm of monsters. Don't worry, it's a lot farther down than it looks. I am still falling! We just came out of Moana and it was amazing. My favorite character is the pig. <laughs> My favourite character was Moana because she never gave up and she thought that was always the way. My favourite parts were when the pig ran away from the paddle and when Maui kept throwing Moana off the um, boat. I am Moana of Motunui. This is my canoe and you will journey to the river. All right, get over it. We gotta move. And she's back. I am Moana of Motunu. It was Moana, right? I thought the music was cool. I thought the music was one word, awesome. But look at that, mini mini mama. Hey! Well, anyway, let me say you're welcome. What a wonderful world you know. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. Well, I would give the movie out of ten, nine crazy chickens out of ten. So far, Moana is my favourite Disney movie. I'd give Moana nine and a half crazy chickens out of ten. Go see it now. Yeah, mate, couldn't have said it better myself. I don't know about you, but I'm full. Happy full. I'm out of here now, but before I go, here's some tips and tricks about being in hospital. I'd say the biggest one that I've noticed, um, I've been in hospital for three weeks now, and I think that you shouldn't be scared of nurses, doctors, surgeries, blood tests or anything, because they're only there to help you. I'm Jack, this is my belly, that's SpongeBob, this is Juice. I hope you have a great day, and I'm out. The movie was inspired by Polynesian culture. I <laughs> well, we have... Uh... <laughs> oh, she's getting a bit impatient. You don't want to see it when she's hungry. Or angry. Hangry to be, in fact. But, uh... In fact... Oh, it's going well. <laughs> She's getting a bit impatient. <laughs> All right, some stills. <laughs> I'm out of here now, but before I go, here's some tips and trips for your hospital journey. Tips and trips. <laughs> I'm out of here now, but before I go, here's some tips and trips. <laughs> Do our bit. <laughs> <laughs> Remember guys, it's so easy to be a part of Juice TV. Whether you want to be a host, help us out behind the scenes with filming, or decide what goes into each episode, let us know you want to be involved by sending an email to hello at juicetv.com.au or speak to one of the friendly volunteers throughout the hospital in the green shirts. Also head to our website and Facebook page for all the updates about what we're filming at the hospital.